Okay, we jump into from Green HQ. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to print text to, a, to the screen using ACS scripts. As you can see, I already have a few objects in place, such as a switch, a door, and I have two lines that when you cross them, will also trigger a script. <coughs> now, ultimately what you're doing here is to print text to the screen, you have to use an ACS script. And I've created a few simple scripts that will be triggered uh, when the action goes off. So when the switch, when you walk over the first line, it'll say press use key to activate the switch. When you activate the switch, it'll say the button's been used. And the, uh, when the uh, third script, the door opens, etc., etc. Now, uh, the way the print function works is um, you, define, you state print, and the first letter in the uh, function is representing uh, what type of thing is going to be printed. In this case, S is string. Uh, you can also print variable types and numbers and such like that um, by changing this uh, <coughs> definition here. Um, I'll be including uh, a link to the wiki, uh, Zedum wiki, to show you extra functions that it uses. You can see down here, it's got a slash C, which differs from over here. The slash C is an escape code for color and D is the actual color, so in this case D represents green. And I've changed the color as well in the door. Uh, when it opens, it'll print a purple text. And then this line down here is a mix and match where it changes text color for each line. Um, so basically what you do is uh, you choose your line depth that you want the action on, and you're gonna set it to 80, which is script execute, and you're gonna hit the um, use the name of the script that you wanna use. Um, so when it's all put together, it should look like this. So you tell it to print, and use the key, and the button has been used, it's showing in green. And you see it's uh, that simple. Um, you can use this to print, you know, a number of things. You could be, have more complicated scripts which print multiple messages by using delays and print. Um, using the print function. Uh, you could also use variables um, when using in your script using the print function and have it so you have a list of uh, messages that can be triggered uh, when the action is uh, triggered itself. So you could have multiple things going on like that. Uh, well that's it for this tutorial. Uh, stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed please do. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or uh, uh, requests, leave them in the comments section below or send me a message and I'll get to it. Until next time.